In this video, I'm going to show you how to conduct some basic predictive analytics in Excel or Google Sheets using a technique known as linear regression. There's some fairly complicated maths involved, but the good thing is that you don't really need to know any of it, just how to interpret the results. Let me explain. Hello and welcome to Vitamin BI. My name's Adam and on this channel I help you do more with data. So if you're new here, do think about subscribing and hit that bell to get notified whenever I post new videos. Okay, so first off, what is linear regression and how does it work? Well, simple linear regression, probably the most commonly used type of regression analysis, is used to create data models for predicting values we don't yet have, using data that we do have. So, for example, we could use historical data to predict values in the future. Or it could be something like predicting someone's weight based on their height. There are countless reasons why you might want to use linear regression, but the simple premise is that we're trying to create a formula that will help us predict values. All you'll need is two separate series of data that could potentially be correlated. During the analysis, we'll test the strength of the correlation to see how well we're able to predict values with the data that we have. We're going to be working in Excel, but you can also mostly do the same things in Google Sheets, which I'll show you quickly later on. Okay, let's jump onto my computer and get started. For our demonstration, what we'll be doing is creating a scatter plot chart using two separate series of data for the X and Y axes values. Now, you don't actually need to create a scatter plot to do what we're trying to achieve, but it'll help you better visualize and understand how linear regression works. Of the two series of data, one is called the dependent or response variable, which is the one that you want to predict. This is plotted on the Y axis and the other is called the independent or explanatory variable, which is plotted along the x-axis. The data we're working with is an advertising dataset that I downloaded from Kaggle. If you want to follow along, there's a link to the dataset in the video description. I don't know if it's real-world data, but that's not really what's important. We're just using it for demonstration purposes, and you'll get the idea once we're finished. Our independent variable is the budget for TV advertising in thousands of dollars. Our dependent variable is the number of sales made in thousands. So the idea here would be to see how closely correlated the budget is to the number of sales made. To what extent is budget a reliable predictor of sales? and we have 200 rows in the data, or what are also called observations. Here in Excel, we'll start by selecting our two data series and then choosing Insert and Recommended Charts. The first one is a scatter plot, which is what we're looking for, so we'll select that. Then we'll just make it bigger so we can see it better. So here are our 200 observations plotted. To make this easier to understand, we're going to need to add in axis titles, which Excel doesn't add for some reason, even though we've selected the column headers. Anyway, you can add them by going to Add Chart Element and Axis Titles, Primary Horizontal, which will be TV budget in thousands of dollars. Then for the primary vertical axis, it's sales in thousands. OK, what we want to do next is to display a linear trend line on the chart, which is a straight line. You do this by right clicking any of the points on the chart and selecting Add Trend Line. Let's make it stand out a bit better by formatting it to be red, making it thicker, and also a solid line. So this trend line is also known as the line of best fit because it's a line drawn that is closest to each of the points. 
Getting a bit more technical, it could also be described as the line that minimizes the sum of the squared errors. It's essentially the line that gives us an expected or predicted value of y, in our case sales, for a given value of x, TV budget. On the right here, we can even choose to forecast going forward and backward based on the observations we have. So, if I choose to go forward 100 periods, you can see the linear trend line continue and extend. And based on our 200 observations, we can predict that a budget of around 400,000 would generate roughly 29,000 sales. Let's set that back to zero for now. OK, so this linear trend line gives us a visual representation of the expected values. But how is it calculated? Well, to see the formula for our linear regression, I can just select display equation on chart. And I'll also select display R squared value on chart as well. Let's make them both a bit easier to see. So the equation gives us a way of calculating the y value, and it has two components, the slope value and the intercept value. If you want to know what these two components mean, the slope will tell you the amount of change in the dependent variable for every single unit change in the independent variable. The intercept value is the predicted value for if the independent variable was at zero, basically this value here. You can actually get these values by using Excel functions. So with slope, you use equals slope, and then our known y values, comma, our known x values, close parenthesis, return. And we can do the same for the intercept value using equals intercept, known y values, comma, known x values, return. And if we reduce the decimals, you can see that they are the same figures as we have in our formula here. OK, so let's use this formula to predict a y value based on an x value. Earlier, we forecast forward with our linear trend line to around 400. So we'll use that as our x value. Our formula for predicting our y value is going to be slope multiplied by our x value plus our intercept value, which gives us 29.16. Let's add our trend line forecast back like before. And we can see that our formula has given us the same predicted value. But what about this r squared value? What does this signify? Well, the R squared value gives us a measure for how effective our model or calculation will be at predicting results. It can basically be viewed as a percentage, with the result being between 0 and 1, or 0 and 100% if you multiply it by 100. It represents the proportion of the total variance in the Y values that's being explained by the X values. We could go into more detail about how this is calculated with explained and unexplained variance from the mean, but this is just an introduction to basic linear regression, so we won't go there in this video. In our model, we can see the R squared value is around 81%, which is quite high, meaning that our formula is highly efficient at predicting our Y values. And that is simple linear regression in Excel. You can do the same thing with Google Sheets as well. Let me show you. Select the two columns and choose Insert and Chart. Sheets automatically chooses the scatterplot chart and adds in the axis titles. To show the formula, just go to Customize, Series, Trendline. We can then change it to red and make it thicker. Then instead of custom for our label option, we can choose use equation and check R squared. Sheets also has the same slope and intercept functions as Excel. 
If you found this video useful, please hit that like button. And why not share it with someone you know who you think might like it too. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon for another video. Thank you.